I'm Jess Parnes for GoPSUSports.com and welcome to This Week in Penn State Sports. On Saturday, wearing specially designed camo jerseys, the Penn State baseball team rolled to a 22-5 victory in the first ever Wounded Warrior game at Medler Field at Lubrano Park. With proceeds going to local Wounded Warrior and PSU Ability athlete Chris Wales, redshirt senior Mike Wanamaker pitched 7.2 strong innings for his third win of the season. On Sunday afternoon, the Nittany Lions wrapped up one of its best weekends in recent memory by topping Michigan State 9-1 for its fifth straight Big Ten win. The Spartans came into the series with a 28-11 overall record. Junior Ben Heath hit his 16th and 17th home runs of the season to tie the 32-year PSU season record. Senior David Lutz made his first career start and went the distance for the Lions' first nine-inning complete game since 2008. The victory also gave the Lions their first series sweep of the season while also scoring the most runs, 49, in a three-game Big Ten series in PSU history. Coach Wine and the team continue their homestand with the three-game series against Iowa beginning on Friday at 7 p.m. After sweeping Princeton in the EIVA final for its 12th straight conference title on Saturday, their 22nd overall, the 12th ranked Penn State men's volleyball team earned the number three seed in the NCAA national semifinals. The Nittany Lions will take on the number two seed, Cal State Northridge, on Thursday, May 6th at 6 p.m. Pacific Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time at Stanford's Maples Pavilion. Penn State's match will be broadcast live on ESPN2 and ESPNU with the simulcast on ESPN360.com. It can also be heard on the web at GoPSUSports.com and in the State College area on WRSC-FM 103.1. The national championship will also be broadcast live on ESPN with the simulcast on ESPN360.com. With Saturday's victory over Princeton, Penn State now owns an overall record of 58-3 in the EIVA tournament, with a 22-3 record in the EIVA finals dating back to 1986. This will be the 15th NCAA appearance for the Nittany Lions under head coach Mark Pavlik and the 25th overall for the program. Congratulations to redshirt sophomore Joe Sunder, who was named the tournament's most outstanding player and was joined on the all-tournament team by senior Max Lipsitz and redshirt sophomore Edgardo Goez. Congratulations also to Lipsitz, who earned first-team AVCA All-America honors, and junior Dennis Devalier, who earned second-team AVCA All-America accolades. Lipsitz is one of four 2010 honorees to be a three-time AVCA All-American while Devalier also makes his third appearance on the All-America list as a second-team honoree. The two awards bring Penn State's total number of All-Americans to 75 since 1971. It was senior day this past Saturday at Jeffrey Field for the women's lacrosse team and they definitely went out in style as they beat Temple 14-3. In the victory, the Nittany Lions posted a rare first-half shutout highlighted by senior goalkeeper Stephanie Ellis' seventh save performance. On a day where six departing Nittany Lions were honored, the freshmen were the ones who highlighted the scoring attack. Freshmen Molly Fernandez and Haley Safarnos accounted for a combined four goals and five assists. Senior Teresa Bucci added two of her own, becoming PSU's first 30-goal scorer since 2006. Up next for the Nittany Lions will be the first round of the ALC Championships, whereas the number four seed they'll face off against Ohio State Thursday at 3 p.m. in Columbus. Thursday's matchup will be streamed live on the Big10network.com and available as a pay-per-view. Visit GoPSUSports.com for complete details. Junior Siobhan Greaves was back at it again this weekend, earning victories in both the 100 and 200 meter dashes at the Jesse Owens Track Classic in Columbus. Greaves, who is the defending Big Ten champ in both events, wasn't the only Nittany Lion earning dual victories. Fellow teammate senior Fawn Dorr captured wins as well in both the 400 meters and 400 meter hurdles. In her 400-meter heat, Dor finished with a career outdoor best performance of 52.73, good for third fastest mark on the Nittany Lion all-time top 10 list and a full second faster than the second place finisher. In the field, junior Blake Eaton highlighted the Nittany Lion's effort with a second place finish in the shot put. On the men's side in Palo Alto, California, the name Casimir Loxham became a household one in the world of track and field. The freshman clocked the nation's fastest performance in the 800 meter at the Peyton Jordan Invitational. Loxham, who already recorded the fastest split in the 4x800 relay at the Penn Relays last weekend, put up an astounding 146.74 this weekend in Stanford. Loxham's performance is a top 10 mark in the world this year and third fastest in the PSU record books. 
This week in Penn State Sports, we'll be back in a second after this brief message. Now's the time to make plans for your son or daughter to attend one of Penn State's summer sports camps. What a terrific experience to come to Happy Valley and learn from the very best collegiate coaches in the nation. More than 27 different sports camps offered throughout the summer, so jump online and find the week that works for you. From football to fencing and softball to soccer, check out all the details for Penn State's summer sports camps today at GoPSUSports.com. Ladies, get ready for the first ever Penn State Ladies X's and O camp scheduled for Friday, June 11th. Male Nittany Lions fanatics have enjoyed the thrill of the annual Penn State Football Fantasy Camp for the past four years and will return this June for a fifth consecutive year. The popular fantasy camp sparked intrigue from loyal Penn State female fans eager to go behind the scenes themselves of Coach Joe Paterno's program. The one-day event gives campers a chance to receive instruction led by assistant coach Mike McQuarrie and other Penn State staff members both in the classroom and on the field. The day will culminate in a blue and white flag football game played on the hollowed field inside Beaver Stadium. And for those who prefer to help coach or just cheer on their friends play, that option is also available. This would make a great Mother's Day gift, so be sure to check out GoPSUSports.com for complete event and registration details. Mark A.J. Wallace down as the eighth senior signed or drafted into this NFL offseason. The quarterback kick returner is the second of the undrafted Nittany Lions to be signed by an NFL roster following tackle Dennis Landholt, who signed with the Giants last week. Wallace will join former teammate defensive tackle Jared Audrick as the second Penn State newcomer to the Dolphins. Audrick was Miami's first round selection and the 28th pick overall in this year's draft. Another strong Penn State athletic campaign has lifted the Nittany Lions into third place in Learfield Sports Directors Cup winter standings. Seven Nittany Lions squads earn points in their respective NCAA championships during the winter season. The Nittany Lions are ranked in the top five of the final Directors Cup winter standings for the fourth consecutive year. The Nittany Lions have finished in the final top 25 in all 16 previous Directors Cup surveys with eight top 10 finishes. And fans, with Mother's Day just around the corner, remember that you can get all your Penn State gear needs by shopping online at GoPSUSports.com. So whether you're looking to get mom the 2010 official whiteout tee or blow her away with this year's Penn State Ladies Football X's and O's Camp, we've got you covered. And finally, today we want to take a moment and congratulate everyone who was involved in making the inaugural Beaver Stadium 5K Run Family Walk to benefit Special Olympics of Pennsylvania such a huge success. Over $35,000 was raised by over 800 runners and walkers in what's sure to become a new blue and white weekend tradition. In Special Olympics Hall of Fame member Sue Paterno's words, it went beyond our expectations. Thanks for joining us today. For GoPSUSports.com, I'm Jess Parnes.